Once a worksheet starts to grow, one problem with viewing data is that when we scroll, the column headers disappear, and we are left to guess as to what these numbers mean, as is the case with the semester grades file. To make it easier to keep the column headings in view and thus make it easier to understand this data, we can freeze both rows and columns using the freeze panes feature, which freezes rows and columns as needed. The key to freezing the correct area of a worksheet is to know what to select. For this first example, I want to freeze the first two rows in this grade sheet. To do so, I will select the row number for row three, the row below the ones I want to freeze. Then I will select the view tab on the ribbon and in the window group, I will select the freeze panes drop down arrow. We could freeze just the top row or the first column if we want to, but we want to freeze two rows, not one. Thus, I will select freeze panes, and now we can scroll through these grades while the first two rows are frozen. Speaking of columns, if this grade sheet gets much wider, we will want to have the names in column A, the class column freeze, as we scroll left to right. I will select the freeze panes drop down arrow again and select freeze first column. This freeze allows us to scroll left to right, but the problem now is the rows are no longer frozen. You can freeze rows, you can freeze columns, and as you're about to see, you can freeze rows and columns, but you can only have one freeze on at a time. What then should we do if we want to freeze both rows and columns? First, know that we can only apply one freeze at a time. Thus, in the window group, I will select the freeze panes drop down arrow and unfreeze panes. Then let's figure out how to freeze rows and columns at the same time. We already know that if I want to freeze the top two rows, I would select row three. If I wanted to freeze the first column, I could select column B. So let's see what happens when I select the intersection, cell B3. Then I will select the freeze panes drop down arrow and freeze panes. And look, both the top two rows and the left hand column are frozen as we scroll up or down or left to right on the spreadsheet.